What's going on people? It's your boy Cash Cream Developments and welcome to another episode of Cream or Access as we take you behind the scenes with this 2018 Mercedes GLC 63 AMG. As you can see it's seen better days, it's been involved in a very big accident uh, which has taken out most of the uh, offside front corner. We're going to strip and inspect the vehicle to uh, see if there's any chassis damage, hopefully not. Um, but if there is, of course, it's no issue. We, we'll have to get over that as well. Uh, you can clearly see sustained uh, damage to the suspension. So wishbones uh, uh, and, and suspension leg would more than likely be damaged as well. Um, but yeah, that said, we're going to go around, strip the car first, and, um, and take it from there. The car's had its uh, airbags deployed as well, so if you want to come over and have a quick look and see what's going on, uh, the extent of the damage here. Side. Airbag, curtain bit airbag and, and the foot airbag has been deployed along with the seat belts as well. You can see there's no return left on the uh, seat belt so there's no spring in it no, anymore so it's got completely baggy which means the airbag for the seat belt has deployed as well. Um, so yeah, quite a straightforward job. Just another one in the life of Cream Development, so I hope you guys like the video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Uh, we've got man like Raf here to tow the car to... <coughs> uh, we've got man like Raf here to get the car running because it came to us as a non-runner. And hopefully it comes back working. So we ain't got push. Because the car came to us as a non-runner, we've got my man Raf from Roof Recovery. So what's up Raf? What's going on? <laughs> Oh, yeah. good, so if you need your recovery done, this is your guy, Roof Recovery, that's the phone number right there. That's your guy. Lowered cars, whatever, this guy's got it on smash, so don't worry. And uh, yeah, look forward to having a car back so we can get repairing it. And off she goes. Take care, bro. We look forward to uh, bringing it back to life. It kind of hurts, you know when you see cars like that? That should be right as rain once we finish with it. Come on, Chris. What to do? Thanks to Roof Recovery once again. Every time, mate. Every time. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so um, it's time to get the car in, dismantle it. Job for Chris and Dave. Panel it up, line it up, make sure everything's all uh, proper before Paul takes over and paints everything, making the car. Pristine again, back to its OEM factory. Look the way it should be. Alright, so all the mechanical side is now enough nearly finished. All the new wishbones, track rod ends, hub carrier, suspension leg is now on the car. Now it's time to put the brake disc and the caliper on the car, then put it on the floor once and for all. Then into the paint booth where Paul can do his bit of work and then once it's finished we'll take it for four wheel alignment. Alright, that's the caliper on, I'm just going to tighten the bolts now and then once I'm finished, Cash is going to go around make sure every nut and bolt is tight to his satisfaction and then we can put it finally on the ground. Cash has been away to Vegas and we've seen the car show. While he was away, we relaxed, had a few beers, a couple of birds around here. <laughs> no, really. The, uh, the last piece of the paintwork, the polishing up now. The rest of the work is all built up. What do you do? Bonnets on, we place the bonnet, the suspension, the, the wings. Um, just waiting for a few last parts. Change the headlining, three airbags and uh, also a couple of bits of trim inside the car. We're nearly there. Yeah. 
All right, that's the wing finally on. Once Paul's finished flattening and polishing the bumper, we can finally get it on once we've got the new headlight in. And then box the rest of the car up. All right, so we've come across a bit of a problem with the car, and that is, visually, you couldn't really tell, but that inner crash bar is actually two inches back on this side. Uh, and of course it's perfect on that side because it was a hit there, but you couldn't visually see it. When we stripped the car, obviously it was in bits. When everything was removed, that was pretty much unmarked. It was untouched, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah, so, yeah, we couldn't tell at all that it, that it, it, it had obviously uh, suffered in the crash. But when all the new parts came and we started reassembling it all, bonnet wing was painted and stuff like that, and the light had to go in, we then realised that, hang on a minute, it doesn't quite fit. So, um, We realised that the front inner crash bar was actually two inches back, um, which basically meant ordering a new one, just like we did with everything else. But unfortunately, Mercedes don't stock that item. They don't stock it in Germany. The car is obviously a new car, and because it's so new, they have none of these in the world on the shelf anywhere. Um, so there was a six-week wait list for us to wait to get one of those. Um, so we decided to obviously strain ourselves, as you can see, and the job's been done. Paul's has done a great job of it, um, and it's perfectly lined up with, again, no damage to it. Um, so yeah, happy with that, and it allows us to carry on and get the job done and finish it off. So hopefully by, by tomorrow it'll be all boxed up, ready to um, get the wheel alignment done, track in, diagnostics, and a final wash clean and a polish, and away she goes. That's the idea. But knowing how slow Paul works, we're probably looking at next week, Friday. So what we've done, we've used a full power to check the iron forward, and now it all lines up perfectly. Get the rest of the pieces back on. Don't have a pint. was now fully complete, the last few bolts, Chris is going to tighten up and we're just going to check all the alignment, everything's perfect and then it's just a case of the under tray and the wheel arch liners and a little bit of wiring. Once I've replaced the seat belt then we can move on to the front airbag then once everything's done we can run the diagnostics and clear any error codes. Alright, now it's time to get the steering wheel airbag out and put the new one in. Get her to the car wash. 165 quid's worth of badges. She's all complete, really pleased with the outcome. Um, all the front end now lines up perfectly, it's all been repaired perfectly, you can't tell either. Um, Absolutely everything on, on this car that was damaged has been replaced, nothing's been repaired whatsoever. So there's no filler work or anything like that as such. Uh, all the suspension components and uh, the bumper, all the mouldings, the trims, um, the wing, the bonnet, the headlight, everything's been replaced. Brand new, former saving, so it's done. Uh, back to original factory standard. Really pleased with that. Now it's off to the car wash it goes, customers around the corner. And um, we'll be here very shortly to pick her up. Off she goes to the car wash.